Picking up right where we left off. Got all the uh, guides and chains covers off the side here and now we're going to take the uh, the cover off here so we can remove the cams. I got the book up. And, um, really the only steps it says to do that I haven't already done, which is all this stuff, is just take the bolts off the top. I thought that there would be a little bit more, but I mean it makes sense because everything else is off. So it's got a sequence sequence one through six. It just goes in lines across the motor. So if you look at the top of the motor and cut it into six sections, it's like one, two, three, four, five, and then like six is in the center. So I'll show you guys that real quick and then we'll get to work. Kind of nervous, kind of excited. Where to see these cams? Right here it says it shows you on the arrows one, two, three, four, five, six, and right up here it says remove cylinder head bolts in sequence one to six and then remove the cover. So I got all this other stuff done, the chains are off, guides out, all that stuff. So it's literally the very last steps is to do those bolts and pull the cover off. And then it goes to the install. So boom. Let's do it. First things first, we'll get this nasty tape off of here. That way we can access all the bolts. It looks like, uh, yeah, like one, two, three, and there should be another one right here. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, that'll be for the head itself. These two will definitely have to come out. And we'll get her done. All right, show one and two. One and two are the first two that come out for section one. Break these babies loose. Keep track. Those are the first two. Now I'm going to section number two. One, two, three, four. It's going to be these four. These furthest one, two, three, four. You guys get it. So we one, two, three. Those, those ones, and then these ones, and then these ones, and then these ones, and then these ones. It just goes side to side till you get to the middle. So. I'm going to throw on the time lapse and uh, we'll get to it. All right, y'all. This is the part I've been waiting for for a long time. Super excited to see in here. Show you guys some of the old carnage. Um, if you're not a member of the channel yet, there beside the subscribe button, at least in most countries. I think some countries it doesn't allow, which I apologize, but that join button there um, is like a paid subscription and you get behind the scenes content and stuff. Like I told a whole story on why um, or what happened. It cost me like 70, I think it was like 7,000 some dollars a couple years ago when I messed up this cylinder head. So uh, there was gonna be some damage in here. And anyway, if you wanna hear that story, hit that join button. There's gonna be all types of exclusive content, giveaways, and stuff in there. Um, now that we're back getting the ball rolling again, I'll be doing more videos for them as well, or y'all that are watching this that all remember. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I do want to get this valve cover painted as well. I think I'm going to do yellow on the cover, yellow on the trans, yellow on the brake calipers, and then a couple other yellow accents. I like the yellow and blue. Get the get the wheels back to black instead of like the gray that they are. I think with the yellow calipers and stuff, it'll look really good. And uh, yeah. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Ready? On your mark. Get set. Uh, the sealant's definitely holding it down more on one side. Woo! Okay. Well, you guys got to see them before I did. <laughs> Dang. All right. Wow. I 
thought that there would be like legitimate seals for the spark plugs. Like my VR6 had like seals that went around each one. This is actually just uh, like sealant. You can see kind of like the green sealant around there, around some of the spark plugs there. Pretty clean in here though. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good to see. Dang. All right. So uh, there's our cams. We can actually take these out right now. I don't really have. Uh, what I need to do? I need to go prep this box real quick. That way I have a safe place to put these. Sprinkle some oil on them. I already just got some dirt on them. Popping that cover off. And you can really see here. Let me get this box ready and I'll pull the camera off. All right, so we get the light here for us. Get a good look how crazy these cams are. You can kind of see like the, the gap right there. Yeah, so those cam actuators on the back side of the head here go into these grooves and uh, is able to change the cam profiles to these. You got multiple, see there's one and two, one and two, you get like a, a higher lift, I guess, and that the, your valves are stay open longer. Don't know. It's a little bit of metal there, I think. It's not good. We're going to have to take a closer look at that. That's not cool. And all of them look like they have a little bit of wear in that area. Sorry, it's probably not focusing. I'm just looking. What do you guys think about that? You can't feel it. And you can actually feel that one a little bit. I hate to have to get new cams again. They're so freaking expensive. Guess we'll see. Oh, we can kind of see, where is it? You could see it through right there, where I messed up the cylinder head at one point. There's gonna be a couple more of those kind of spots. But uh, let's pull these out. I'm gonna inspect them a little bit closer off camera. And we can look under here at the valve train. Neat. Very, very neat. This stuff's so cool. So on this intake, I don't know, cam cradle, it's not cradle, whatever, whatever area this is. You got a bunch of scratches right there. You see those? You can't really feel those. The main one I'm concerned about, which is with I was talking about on that cam. This one's not great at all. I don't know if they can. And you can hear it with my nail. It's not good. I don't like that. Hopefully it can be polished down, sanded down, whatever. There, all the rest look pretty good. Um, all the rocker roller things, they all like got real close down on those. Spun them all around. They all look good. crazy how loose they can sit on there too I mean I, I know they're under pressure from the cam but you can literally just like lift it off and move it <laughs> like it's crazy I think it's like no it's not magnetic kind of feels like it magnets right down in there though it's neat to see especially seeing like the exhaust cam which this thing would stay in focus jeez well, the exhaust cam is different or the exhaust rockers are different than the intake all in all not too bad you got this spot here I told you guys I messed up a while ago ugly hopefully they can sand this down make this not look like that now I don't see I mean I'm not obviously a professional like I don't know if this is just like casting marking same with like over here not really I mean I don't see any metal bits I don't see anything like 
too too terrible other than that one spot there i don't I really don't like that now I'll go pull the cams back out here and get a closer look on those for y'all but definitely neat definitely cool to see now i should be able to uh so you got your bolts down there obviously one two three four six eight ten we got 10 bolts holding the head down and we can pop the head off but i'm not going to do that in this video i'm going to save that for the next one i apologize i'm not trying to make anyone angry or anything but i do want to kind of spread the content out um this is, isn't the most exciting video but dang i really wish i wonder how long and what if i need to go back and look at the pictures that they had sent me um at one point and see if it was like that before there but let's roll over here to the cams all right there's a nice closer look at the cams outside of the thing you can kind of see so like the way this area looks here it like progressively gets worse to this one and this one has like the most that's a, the same spot on the head where it, I can scratch it so this side's pretty good the other cam's perfect like absolutely perfect not a single nick nothing no weird lineage or anything so I find it really really neat how it how things move on this I don't want to mess around with it too much but it's definitely neat spinning around here yeah, you can still kind of see I really hope I don't need a new cam. That would be terrible. I mean, at least the intake cam is way cheaper than the exhaust cam, but it's still, I mean, it's like $700 or something for the intake cam. It'd be nice if there was an option for a bigger intake cam. I understand the, the complexity of the exhaust cam here to do bigger ones, but the intake one would be nice. But, uh, there you go, there's the cams, pretty neat. Pretty cool. Definitely, uh, definitely different. In the last set of cams I pulled on my VR6, these are definitely way different. It's cool how this stuff works. Technology, man. All right, I'm gonna toss these back in. We'll grab the actual cover and inspect that. I haven't really looked at that yet. All right. Now, as we look at it here, this side is the intake side. This is the exhaust side this is where like the PVC plate goes um, like those same two spots aren't aren't great up here either this one's pretty smooth and the uh, exhaust side is perfect there's nothing nothing going on there so hopefully these can just be uh, like I said just polished out or something I don't know what tools or how any of that works. I'm literally not an expert at all. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I know these these top pieces, these covers, since they hold down the cams, they are machined one to one. So you can't just get another one of these and expect it to work on your cylinder head. The cylinder head and the cover need to stay together because they're machined to be one to one. So. Um, definitely isn't an option just getting another one and not, you know, all that stuff. It's going to need to be taken care of. So, I'll let you guys know what my people say about that. Let me know what your people think or what y'all think. Um, I need to sit here with a, a pick and get all this sealing out of these grooves. Clean that up real nice. Man. This is crazy. Never thought, uh, I mean, I did kind of think I would eventually be doing this, but like, I'm actually doing it now. <laughs> it just blows my mind. I really just want to pop this head off, but I know the torque on this head is going to be ridiculous, and I probably want someone else here to hold the engine stand still and then help me lift it off just in case it's like kind of stuck or something. I don't want to like yeet it real hard and it pop and then I lose balance because I'm kind of clumsy and drop this thing on the floor or something so I'm gonna wait until I have someone here hopefully I can get someone here uh, tomorrow afternoon or tonight and it's only 10 bolts so we'll be able to see the underside 
Um, you can see the you know the actual valves and then uh, the pistons and everything. It'll be very exciting. And that'll be the next video for y'all. I don't know how video, how long this video has lasted, but man, I still need to take these spark plugs. I guess I don't even need to take the spark plugs out. I can just leave them in there. Ain't no point. Man, super interesting how this all all works though. Pretty cool. Like I said, when I was looking through the, the book there on uh, how to time everything and put it back together, I mean, it doesn't seem bad at all. It's just going to be like, you know, obviously days of work. A little bit here, a little bit there. Try not to get frustrated. Drink beer. <laughs> Pay attention. I mean, like, all the timing marks are, are, are pretty obvious in the way that the chains go on and everything. Just skimming through it, like, I didn't read every single step and... This, that, and the third, but I do need to get that other tool for the crank pulley uh, and to hold that that extra gear that sits between the pulley and the crank. I need to get that, that actual tool, but other than that, it really doesn't seem that bad. I mean, obviously the head's not off yet. I don't want to touch the valve springs myself or any of that. I don't want to mess any of that up. It's a little, little too above my pay grade, and obviously the machining and stuff, I'm not going to do because... I don't know what I'm doing, but as for putting, simply dropping pistons and rods in, putting the head back on, slamming the cams in, doing the timing, oil pan, accessories, like all that's pretty simple. So just time consuming. A lot of paying attention. I need to keep the distractions down and just follow the book. And I'm excited. This trans is here. Motor's almost broken down. It's almost the end of the year. House is almost sold. Man, things are starting to like, kind of come together. I'm excited, super excited. I just can't wait to rip on this freaking thing. I need to order a CAE shifter already to match this trans. I want to get a Wilwood handbrake. Get a, uh, you know, so we have a staging brake and maybe even when the rear diff gets installed, um, we'll be able to do some like slides around the track and shit. I don't know. It's going to be super awesome. And I really hope the car weighs like 29, they're like under 29.50 without me in it. Half tank of gas. That's what I'm aiming for. Hopefully lower, but I want at least that. Ah, with like 550, 600 wheel. Be a good time. Revving out to 8,000. Hell yeah. All right. I'm done rambling. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Merch is coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I promise, I swear. Website's ready for it. People have been asking me, can I PayPal you? Can I Venmo you? Blah, blah, blah. Nope, just wait. We'll have PayPal and cards on the site that you can use. I can't sell anything. I don't, well, I, I guess I kind of could. I don't even have the product yet, so I don't want to sell anything before I even get it. I want everything to go through the site, and then that way I can like really work on the logistics side of things. I don't know exactly how. This is all going to go down, so, so many things going on. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, drop your questions, comments, concerns down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.